So Harrison, just to reflect on last week, six points in four days. It was quite a good week, wasn't it? Yeah, really good. Really good response. Um, I think the three games previous were disappointed with the results of the points uh, we picked up. So to, to, to get six points out of two games was really important for us and um, gives us a building block to go into the next game. And for you personally as well, a really good week. You got gold on Thursday, then followed up with assist on Sunday. So you must be happy with that too. Yeah, really happy to be contributing to the team, to be helping the team towards points, pushing us up the table. Um, could have had another on, on Sunday, but it wasn't to be. Just need to keep getting in them, them areas and um, hopefully another one will come soon. On that goal on Thursday, you seemed to run straight over to Marco and his staff. What was the meaning behind that? Were you just happy at his faith he's shown in you? Yeah, exactly that as well. Um, obviously, it was a difficult game for me on, on the Saturday. Um, coming off at half-time, he gave me another chance from the start um, on Thursday. So to get the goal, to repay him, um, obviously really important for me to do that and it felt really good. I don't know if you've seen, you definitely have heard it, the fans calling you Ginger Iniesta. What do you make of that? It's a nice compliment, right? Yeah, just take it as a compliment. Um, I just focus on myself, to be honest, and obviously if I can make the fans happy and they can be praising me like that, um, so obviously makes me feel really good and it makes me want to improve and, and, and do more of the same on the pitch. And we saw it last season as well, but it seems this season you're going forward even more. You're now getting goals in your game, assists, more assists. Um, is that influenced by the fact that maybe Zhao's come in and given you more defensive solidity there so you can have a freer roll up top? Yeah, I think zhao has been brilliant. He's give, he gives me that licence to get forward. I know he's always going to be in the right position to, to stop counter-attacks, to be that defensive midfielder that he is. Um, but it's just, nothing's really changed from last year too much. It's just been in the right position at the right time, still learning that position. Um, and obviously when the chance falls, hit the back of the net and that's what I keep trying to do. Do you feel like your confidence in front of goal is, goal is uh, growing all the time with... The fact that you've now broke your duct and you've got out there and scored? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think if you ask anybody if they get that first goal, another one follows quite quickly, which it has done. And I think that does come, come down to confidence. Maybe I'll be shooting more often than previous times. Um, I'll be, I won't be thinking twice about it because I have that confidence and obviously I've, I've done it previous. So that, um, that definitely helps, yeah. Going into tomorrow night now, Everton at home, another tough test, right? Yeah, really tough. Um, come off the back of a really good result they have. Um, you look at their squad, they've got quality throughout, they've got experience. Um, listen, we'll be focusing on ourselves, prepare exactly the same as we have for every game this season. Want to be front foot from the first whistle, fans behind us at the cottage, um, something we're really, really looking forward to. We've obviously had a solid start to the season, we're sitting seventh. What are the main things you think we need to carry on doing for starting with Everton tomorrow? Keep being that real hard team to play against um, and then that gives us a foundation to show our quality on the pitch. I um, think what we work on day in, day out, um, can only come through and shine if we're working really hard for each other, being that difficult team to build, to beat um, and keep building on that. And you mentioned the fans um, at home again, Bar Newcastle, we've been unbeaten at home all season. And how important is that for a building block for what we want to achieve this season? Yeah, massive. I think from the first, from the first game, that first whistle of the Premier League season at home against Liverpool, we felt the crowd. Um, it was a different energy to, to what I felt before and I think that's carried through into every home game we've had speak about it in the dressing room, the way that they can help us and we can feed off their energy. Um, and long may that continue. I'm looking forward to Saturday night with the, the, boy, the crowd behind us um, and the boys will be ready.